Bruce here, January 2023, here with another Mosin video. By request on one of the Facebook pages, somebody asked, how much do the different Mosin Nagant stocks weigh? I don't know. Let's find out. So, I went to the parts room, went to the parts room, gathered up some stocks laying around. I didn't take apart any rifles. It's just what I had laying around just to get a general idea how much a Mosin stock weighs. Why does it matter? Some say it's an archaic old rifle. Well, we don't believe that. We like it. In fact, if you like Mosin rifles, check out AK Operators Union on YouTube. Rabski does a lot of good Mosin videos and Mosin sniper videos. Check them out if you haven't already. Highly recommended. Rob Ski's not paying me for this promo. He's just that good. Okay, as Rob Ski would say, enough of the bullshit talk. Let's get to it. Let me change the camera. Get to it. You've seen enough of my face. All right. Let's zoom down. Now, we have a scale here, which is set up for about 20 pounds. Just to pre-weigh it. Uh, we did the final calibration with these old tracer rounds. And now we got pretty well 20 pounds. Weight. Easier to guess. Now, First off, let's try a 9130 stock. Probably came from Tula. 9130, what do we have here? Now, they may have weighed more in the beginning. My house is kind of dry. That's coming in about two and a half pounds. All right. 9130, Tula, 1930s. Okay, let's jump from there to something Finnish. Here is a ragged out, sporterized, most in the Gantt Finnish M39 sporterized stock. It was cheap. Got it on eBay. Get a lot of things on eBay. Not to be underrated. But this is hacked down, whacked down. Close enough. That's right at two pounds, a little under. M39. A little bit bigger. If you go to throw 9130 parts in there, you're going to have a lot of slop. Okay. And hopping back to the finish. Here's a real M39. Dirty. I should have cleaned these up. Never mind. M39 with no metal. But we do happen to have the whole metal set right here. Barrel bands, plates. So we do have it. Now, the M39 stocks tend to be heavier anyway. This one's coming in, in eh, say, three pounds. They're heavier anyway. The fins beefed them up. Beef them up. Oh, this is a post-war stock. Here, let me see my viewfinder if you can see that. Post-war stock. You can tell by the square. You won't be able to see it from there. Trust me, square splices made a stronger stock. Square splices post war. So, two and a half pounds for the M39. Now, something not Mosin made we have here. Ah, oh, Boyd's. Boyd. Good choice for aftermarket stocks. I still have tape on here, I was finishing this. This came advertised as a hardwood stock. 
Upon arrival, the not named hardwood turns out to be, get this, <laughs> hackberry. I'd never heard of it either. Hackberry. Though it actually looks pretty good. And what do we got here? And tiny bit over two pounds. But I like the stock. I have to refinish it. But I like it. Nice stock. All right. Now, oh yeah. Here's something kind of real slick and cool. This is the famous Clyde Duncan Curly Maple. One of the iterations. Black accents on the bottom. Just beautiful detail in this stock. Just magnificent. And from what I understand, he passed away a few years ago. So there, no more. What do we got here? I don't know if you kind of see the running theme. They're all fairly close. Two and three quarter. About two and three quarter. Two and a half. Two and a half, two and five eighths. And this one has a beautiful recoil pad. It's actually soft, so it may actually work versus the old cheap recoil pads for 10 bucks that came with them. Beautiful stock. Look forward to that build. Now, another traditional aftermarket stock, which has been around for years and years and years, the ATI Plastic. I think all us beginning modders started out with something like this. I really should have cleaned this crap up. But your standard plastic stock, actually a good choice, good hunting choice. But how's the weight? little under two and a half. Two and a quarter. Eh, eh, eh. Somewhere in there. But pretty good choice for hunting stock. Monte Carlo. Eh, okay recoil pad. It's pretty stiff. That's a hard one. Now remember for a lot of these you want a recoil pad. One of the best ones I've found. Packmeyer. Hackmeyer Decelerator. What a... Oh, it's beautiful. The re <laughs> recoil reduction is just phenomenal. Alright, and here's one of the most famous... Whoa, hey, 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 easy there. One of the most famous Mosin Modder Stocks. The Archangel A A9130. Which is new, <laughs> kind of known for notoriously being heavy. Well, how heavy? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it's torquing it. Get your shirt off there. Come on. A little less. Three and five eighths pounds with a ten round mag. Heaviest one so far. But of course, the Archangel adjustable cheek riser, the butt to adjust the length of pull. It's just a cool stock to mess with. Practical, eh. But you got to have one. In the beginning they were notorious for jams. But they fixed the magazines. 
Okay, now as a treat, I'm going to pull out the Monster Mosin. From the Monster Mosin build. I have never weighed this rifle before. Let's see what we get. Oh. oh. Okay. This one utilizes. How are we? Can you see all that? Good. This one uses the Archangel. Nice custom bolt. Millet scope. What do we got here? 3 by 24, 6, 6 by 25. Beauty of this, 35 millimeter tube. Not a 1 inch, not a 30 millimeter, 35 millimeter tube. Good light gathering for these old eyes. I turned this bushing out of an old piece of brass. This is the famous UK-59 machine gun barrel. And because I had to inlet so much out of the channel, I built a base out of aluminum. After that, I found out there were easier ways. Drilling a hole, inserting rods, but we did this. It came out nice. So, let's weigh this puppy. Oh, it's not light. Oh. All right. Oh. Holy crap. And if you can't tell, this is a bench rest only rifle. Holy mackerel. Come on guys, give a guess. Guess. Guess what it is. Guess what it is. Pretty close. Holy crap. That's coming in at 16 and a half pounds for this Mosin goodness. Oh, I forgot to mention, Timney Trigger set at two and a half pounds. What a beaut. Oh, I still haven't finished it. Oh, man, that weighs a ton. I'm getting too old to lift that thing anymore. So, there we have it. You wanted to know how much these puppies weigh? Now you know. If you want any more different videos, what's what? Like, subscribe, and mention down in the comments. Never know, we may be able to do different barrel weights. Whatever you want. And don't forget to give Robski, AK Operators Union, a shout out. Until then, give me a shout out. And as always, drink more shine and eat more bacon. See ya.